the boss of Southwest Water took home almost 660,000 pounds in 2017 3.5 more than the Prime Minister. Chris Laughlin, the chief executive of Pennant Group, the owner of Southwest Water, Ferret Ore and Pennant Water Services, has received £3.3 million in salary, bonuses, pensions and other benefits over the past five years. He took home £660,000 in 2017 3.5 times more than the Prime Minister and a 62% increase from 2013. However, Mr. Laughlin takes home one of the lowest remuneration packages of the water bosses and at £255,000 a year, has the lowest basic salary of all the water bosses. Live Garfield, at Severn Trent, takes home the most with £2.4 million total salary, bonuses, pension and benefits. All get paid more than Prime Minister Theresa May, who earns £150,000 a year with £40,000 pension contribution. The figures come from a joint investigation into company accounts by GMB and Corporate Watch revealed at GMB's 101st Congress in Brighton this week. GMB, the union for the water industry, launches its Take Back the Tap campaign to bring England's privatized water industry back into public ownership. However, a Social Market Foundation report has estimated that water renationalization would cost up to £90 billion. A spokesman for Southwest Water said that Mr. Laughlin's pay reflects his position as chief executive of Pennant Group, which is the owner of Southwest Water, Viridor and Pennant Water Services. He said, directors' salaries are a very small part of our costs and reflect the scale and complexity of our business. Even so, directors are only rewarded for success against demanding performance targets independently set by a remuneration committee, and any bonuses are agreed in relation to the business areas over which they have control and can influence personally. 1. Steve Mogford, United Utilities £721,000 2. Liv Garfield, Severn Trent Water £673,700 3. Steve Robertson, Thames Water £524,000 4. Heidi Matram, Northumbrian Water £500,000 5. Peter Simpson, Anglian Water £480,000 6. Richard Flint, Yorkshire Water £408,000 7. Ian McCauley, Southern Water £382,400 8. Colin Skellett, Wessex Water £287,000 9. Chris Laughlin, Southwest Water £255,000 From data published by GMB and Corporate Watch The GMB and Corporate Watch figures show that through a combination of salary, bonuses, pensions and other benefits that the average package for a privatized water company chief executive in 2017 was £1,254,000 a figure six times higher than the pay and pension of the UK Prime Minister. And consumer water bills in England and Wales have increased by 40% above inflation since privatization in 1989 according to a report by the National Audit Office. Investment, inside SWW Mayflower Treatment Works, scheduled to become operational in September 2018, Image, Penny Cross Southwest Water customers have the third highest bills in the UK. The Southwest Water spokesman said that average bills are now lower than they were nine years ago and it is the only water and wastewater company not to increase its average bill this year. He added, since 1989 Southwest Water has invested more than £7 billion to transform services and protect the environment, and the company plans to invest up to £9 billion more to 2030. Tim Roach GMB General Secretary, said it was a national scandal that over the last five years, customers have been forced to splash millions through their bills to go into the pockets of just nine individuals. He said, privatization of the water industry has been a costly mistake and these eye-watering sums are further proof the water industry must be returned to public hands. GMB is urging people and politicians to take back the tap and make our water services work for the many and not the few. Water is the most natural monopoly and should be in public hands.